It's a retro panda. That's it, really. If you want a markedly less practical and markedly more expensive version of Fiat's top-notch city car, step right this way. The 500 harks back to Fiat's iconic post-war microcar in terms of looks, but is built on the Panda platform and shares most of its engines. But cars are a lifestyle choice these days as much as they are a means of getting about, and the 500 looks wonderful where so many cars in this segment are drab. For the new model year, Fiat's made a big fuss of how it's been facelift, but unless you're a keen spotter of bumpers and lights, you'll be hard pushed to notice. For the record, Fiat says 1,800 changes have been made. Clearly polyelliptical headlights are made of many parts. Sadly short of the agility and involvement we all so desperately wanted it to have, the 500 is no match for its obvious retro rival, the Mini. Even in Abarth trim, it lacks the poise that makes the Cooper so compelling, with the driver sat too high and feeling removed from both chassis and tarmac. Having said that, it's a relatively light hatch with a short wheelbase and plenty of poke in the right spec, so it was always going to be fun. The engine to best complement this is the two-cylinder twin air, which has reasonable go, bags of character and the economy to match. At least on paper. Thrash it through the rev range for a day, and you're likely to find that you'll have been doing late 40s, rather than 68.9 mpg. Still, you'll have had fun in the process and that's what matters.